What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we're going to talk about Hidden Fates. This is kind of like the calm before the storm, and you know, less than 10 days, people are going to be going crazy over this set. So we're going to take a look at, if you haven't made any purchases, kind of like what your remaining options are, um, and kind of like... It's kind of like a market watch kind of thing if you watch MCO40 for Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Uh, just to see how the prices are fluctuating for different things and maybe we'll take a look at some singles as well. Uh, I think the one that everyone wants to know is how much is this bad boy going to cost if you want to buy on the secondary market. Um, spoilers. Don't pre-order it. <laughs> Unless there's a different place you can do it. Uh, the prices are completely ludicrous. Alright, so let's go to... In this view right here. We're actually going to start with Game Nerd. So people, a couple people have asked. This is where I typically purchase everything. People have also recommended Dave and Adams, but I couldn't find even the listings anymore from their website. I, I think it just means they're sold out. But this is the fine, the lowest that I'm aware of. Although these are also sold out, but we'll kind of use this as a benchmark for how good prices are versus like if we purchased them a little bit earlier. Uh, so yeah, pin collections that that first come out, they're like 11:30. Uh, then the tin so if you buy the three pack they no longer offer the um, the individual boxes actually maybe they do but uh, I think I think they removed all of them so uh, yeah if you buy all three you can get or you could have gotten them at 45 which is still a pretty good price what is going on here sorry about that Yeah, for the three tens for 45, and then the ETB, which is the best one, at 36.47. So let's just take a look at some a couple different other sites. And so TCG Player usually a pretty good one, but I feel like it doesn't really apply to sealed products more for singles. Uh, but it is still a site that they do have some pre-orders available, and we can see right off the bat they're much higher. So uh, kind of like if you were to buy all three from Game Nerds like 15 so the, the tins are a bit higher uh, actually this one's not tear auction though they're currently out of stock but it seems like $15 is like the the floor at this point uh, even for you know the, the pre order is like 11 something and now I think that MSRP is also 15 that's what's listed on the Pokemon website so if you just go to like Target or wherever on Friday uh, to just pick them up that should be fine and but then the ETB is I think the MSRP for this is 50 and everything is already above 50 which is pretty crazy uh, yeah stuff for above MSRP and there's no other cheaper options uh, Troll and Toad doesn't really have anything they do have like these uh, Ultra and Great Ball things but then so for reference Game Nerds had them both at 75 no, that's not bad um, for 90 so it's quite a, it's quite a markup but uh, important thing for here Troll and Toad they are not really offering any kind of pre-sales um, except for random things Metagross uh, promos a oversized one some sleeves so nothing really for pre-order uh, let's go to eBay, this one still is quite a bit of options, but no good ones. So this is just for the Elite Trainer Box. Looks like the closest. Yeah, for something that I'm pretty sure the uh, MSRP is. So looking at the Pokemon.com website, uh, I couldn't find the MSRP. I'm assuming it's 50, but uh, one thing I do want to note from a couple comments is the whether or not this, like how it affects the standard rotation. So these A's, which I understand to be alternate, uh, means it doesn't really alternate symbol uh, meaning that each one is listing card reprinted and instead of it kind of like putting it back in rotation it has no effect um, but yeah ETBs should be about 50 and um, yeah so the lowest you can find the tins for is like uh, 68 for all three which is pretty high um, if I had to guess, I think this thing would probably be like $20 MSRP, so this, at this point it's not really worth it. Uh, cool stuff, I feel like everything is kind of MSRP, 50 for the collection box, 15 for the pins, and 20 for the tin. So that's all about, you know, I, I guess that's normal, and if, I've not, I've never ordered stuff from Cool Stuff, but if they're really good about shipping, maybe, but other than that, just, you know, go to a retail store, uh, LGS for that. Shop for Mega Store. I feel I started buying for this for some Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. They sometimes have some good deals, and however, not for Hidden Fate stuff. Nothing good here, and uh, yeah. So, what does a Charizard run you? 
for pre-sales. 400 or 550. I thought maybe you could pick one up on the cheap and maybe a good idea. Nope, don't buy this. I I mean, I guess there's a small chance. No, there's a 0% chance this price holds. That's absolutely ridiculous. Let's see, uh, Cynthia. Oh boy, okay, 95 for Cynthia. And I don't think Guzmo will be as big just because he is rotating and uh, he didn't show up. And let's do Rayquaza as well. Uh, well, I guess he will be in a premium thing, so. Uh, actually, this is something I haven't purchased, um, but I'll, I'll probably hold off. But uh, yeah, so definitely I would not suggest to <laughs> buy any singles just yet. Um, the way I'll probably do it is on TCG Player, once things kind of set up, they'll kind of like race to the bottom and there will probably be some, especially when the market is kind of going crazy, unless there's a shortage, which I kind of doubt. Uh, but yeah, you know, I been talking about it a lot and maybe this was just a I feel like this is the most I've seen it the hype and kind of like it seems like maybe uh, retail stores are running low on the pre-sales um, but when it comes to why sometimes it's a good idea to pre-order uh, while this is the most extreme you know this is kind of like what I've been trying to emphasize for quite a while now so um, and I think after the set releases, we'll kind of do like these, just see how the market's reacting and stuff like that. But uh, so stay tuned for that and let me know what your comments are down below. If you have any other stores in mind that you kind of want to share with everyone else, uh, just post the link down and um, yeah, we got just under 10 days and next Friday, things will be pretty exciting. So that's it for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe all down below. I'm Wanna Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.